Hello everyone, welcome back. This time, I have something exciting for you. Quen Image Edit just released for Comfy UI. It's built on the Quen Image 20B model and it does two things very well. It can change what's in the picture, like pose, view, or style, and it can change small details, like adding or removing objects, <laughs> recoloring, and cleaning up. It also edits text inside images while keeping the same font and layout. So here is the plan and we'll try to run on low VRAM and keep the same results. To run this workflow, you need three core files and one optional speed file. First, download the diffusion model, open the hugging face page, then go into split files and diffusion models. You'll see two options, Quen Image Edit FP8E4M3FN Safe Tensors, about 20.4 GB, and Quen Image Edit BF16 Safe Tensors, that's about 40.9 GB. Pick one based on your machine, put the file you picked into ConfiUI's Models Diffusion Model folder. So if you are low on VRAM, you can use the GGUF build instead. Download the Quen Image Edit GGUF file, Q4, Q5, Q6 or QA. Smaller Q is faster but a little softer. Use the GGUF unit loader and bypass the load diffusion model. Keep the same text encoder and the same VAE for optional speed. Grab the Lightning 4-step LoRa, Quan Image Lightning 4 Steps V1.0 Safe Tensors and drop it in Comfy UI's Models LoRa's folder. So let's start the demos with a beautiful girl portrait I have uploaded in my first test. I try to change the hoodie text and keep the same font and the same placement. The photo is a woman wearing a hoodie. It says Horizon Club. My instructions are Replace the hoodie text with AI study. Keep the same font style and placement. And for the first pass, I select the Q4 model. I turn on the Lightning 4 Step LoRa. In K Sampler, I set steps to 4 and CFG to 1. Then, click generate. And here is the result. The word changes to AI study. The font look stays the same as the original print and the placement matches. If I zoom in very close, edges are a little soft, but it's readable. For the second pass, I have switched the base to FP8, Quen Image Edit FP8, E4M3FN, Save Tensors. I keep steps at 4 and CFG at 1. Then let's generate the results. And here we are. This pass is cleaner than Q4 and it still keeps the same font look and the same placement. It's fast and looks good. And here, for the third pass, I stay on FP8, but I turn lightning off. This is FP8 without LoRa. I set steps to 20 and CFG to 2.5 and generate again. Now you can see the result. This pass looks very sharp, but the phone does not fully match the original. This is the key point. FP8 without LoRa is crisp but it doesn't always keep the exact same font look. In my second test, I changed the jacket to red denim and removed the text. So my instructions are, same girl, change jacket to red denim, keep face, hair and pose, remove the text. And here is the result. The jacket swaps to red denim, Face and O stays the same. Fabric grain is a bit soft and the buttons look slightly mushy. 
the hair position changes a little. Then let's work on second pass. I switch the piece to FP8. I keep lightning four steps on and hit generate. So here, denim and stitching are crisper than Q4. Buttons and rivets are more defined. Identity is preserved and it's fast. The hair still changes position slightly. Then let's discuss about third pass. I stay on FP8, but I turn lightning off. I set steps to 20 and CFG to 2.5. And let's generate. So the texture and seams look the most realistic. Hardware is clean with no halos. Face and hair are stable. The hair position matches the original photo. And here, in my third test, I swept the background to a coffee shop and keep the lighting natural. And my instructions are, same girl, coffee shop background, match lighting to the face. So, first pass and let's generate. A warm cafe background appears and the subject still feels natural in the frame. So, let's discuss second pass. I switch the pace to FP8. Keep lightning 4 step on. Key assembler I keep steps to 4 and CFG to 1. And let's generate. So here is the result. Hair edges blend cleaner. Background is smoother. And the color and contrast line up better with the face. Now let's come to third pass. And here is the result. This looks the most natural. Depth feels right. Hair edges look real. And highlights roll off nicely. Here in my fourth test, and my instructions are, scene portrait, studio ghibli style, keep the same pose and framing. And in the first pass, here, now I get a cute stylized look. So let's try second pass. So here I see cleaner line, smoother skin shading and nice tonal balance. So let's work on third pass. And here is the result. This gives the best detail and color harmony. The face structure stays consistent with the original. Moving on, in the next test, I try a micro edit. Change only one letter. And my instructions are, Make the letter A blue. Keep everything else the same. And here in the first pass and in the result you can see A turns blue but some other letters also changes color. So it's not precise. In second pass and here this feels more than q -free. The model doesn't keep the other letters color. And here, in the last result, all the text changes color, not just the A. I have also tried the full precision model at 50 steps and CFT4. But same issue, it still doesn't keep only one letter. Then I switch to another workflow, context flux, full FP16, 50 steps, no LoRa. The result still fails for single letter recolor. So single letter recolor is hard with just a text instruction. So here is what we get. If you have no VRAM, Q4 with 4 steps works great. So that's it for today's video. If this helped, please like the video and subscribe for more Quen image and comfy UI workflows. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.